the front. Hi, uh, good evening, uh, Dr. Sinclair and Dr. Schwartz. Um, I just had a question about um, the effect of vitamins on um, longevity. Um, to offer a quick anecdote, um, my both my grandparents on my father's side, they are in their mid-70s and they take um, a plethora of vitamins every day and I've heard some claims that you should only take vitamins if you have a deficiency and I just wanted to know your opinion on that. Well, I think your grandparents are boosting the economy. <laughs> so they're doing some good. But I think most of they're making for expensive urine. Yeah, I, I would agree um, okay. that, so I don't take a multivitamin, by the way. There, mm -hmm. there are some things in there like iron that I've seen have wreak havoc on the body and create senescent cells. Um, now, if you have a deficiency, that's different. Right. But boosting these things above what they normally should be, I think, is, is not advisable. At least that's what I decide. Now, there's one, there's one difference. So Linus Pauling loved vitamin C and went to his grave fighting for vitamin C. And I grew up in the 70s eating a big tablet of vitamin C. It was supposed to cure colds or prevent colds, remember? But here's one thing that's interesting. Those TET enzymes that remove those methyls to seemingly reverse the clock, they are activated by vitamin C. So one of the things we're testing now in my lab is if they actually do reverse the aging clock a little bit. Well, there are a lot of interesting trials with uh, IV vitamin C going on now. Mm, great. So.